control. Oh, he's done. He's done. And it's all over. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. For a 28 year old on top of the game with all the belts, all the money, all the numbers, I'm running it for real now. Conor McGregor will be stripped of his featherweight title. Right, can we expect to see you back inside of a boxing ring against a very notable figure anytime soon? Watch me take off a boxer, trust me on that. Look me in the eyes, 28 years of age, confident as a long, mangy, dangerous with every hand. When's it gonna happen? You'll hear the bell. We have so much to discuss. Mayweather, McGregor, it's actually happening. I want this entire arena to scream, the Mayweathers. Buzz. Conor McGregor, he's just losing it right now. And it's all over! Conor McGregor trying to go at the referee. I don't know what's going on here. Who are these guys? Conor McGregor and smashed in a bus window at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. There was an incident this week with Habib and Artem Lubov. This is the most disgusting thing that has ever happened in the history of the company. Is he apologetic at all? No. Whatever you want, doesn't matter. Ireland, New York, Brooklyn, or Moscow. Tell me where. He is a monster. I want to change his face. We're talking maulings and massacres. Surprise, surprise, the king is back. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. Why are you coming here? To come and shoot this man, those little glass jaw rat. Here's my location, you little fool, right in front of you. If that bus door had have opened, this man would be dead right now. This is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my in my life and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it and I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and uh, I just misinterpreted his efficiency. He was very efficient and he took he took shots well and he played um, with his energy well. Whereas I didn't. I blew out, he did not. He almost felt I hurt him many times in the fight. I abandoned the body shots, the body shots were doing damage, but he cut me one or two jabs to the body and I, I avoided his body then after that. Um, but he played well, he went into autopilot mode where I I um, panicked a little bit and this is it, you, you win or you learn. So. Crumlin's a tough, tough area, you know what I mean? It's just the way it was, it's growing up, but um, it just probably, like maybe people might just went on with the day and forgot about it. Me, I just kind of sat back and thought about it a lot more, and it led me to the to the gym. The Irish thing is to get into a trade straight away. I was no different. As soon as uh, I finished school, I was always getting pestered. What are you doing with your life? Are you doing this, doing that? Um, they didn't know what it was. They didn't know what MMA was. They didn't know what none of this. They didn't know I could make a career out of it. As far as they were concerned, my man and dad I'm talking about, as far as they were concerned, I was just getting into a cage and fighting with some other guy. They didn't know nothing about it. No one did, really. But I knew. You know what I mean? I knew. But, uh, um, and then I, got a, I ended up getting a trade, just to keep them quiet. I ended up getting a trade as a plumber. Um, literally up in the back arse and nowhere up in Wicklow, the Wicklow Mountains. And funny enough, that, that, that site was one of the biggest sites in Europe, Kilternan, was right at that skiing place, huge, and now it's just abandoned, now it's just deserted, so I used to go up there at 6 o'clock, five, 5 o'clock in the morning I was on that M50, I used to have to walk to the M4, about half an hour from my house, wait for some Limerick guy that I didn't even know, he'd drive on the M4 and I'd have to flag him down, nightmare, yeah, two hours down on the M50, two hours back, literally 14 hour days, and I was the, I was the first year, so I, was the, I had to go and do everything, I had to go to the shop, I had to go and get this and get that, so I always had trouble with that and I was like, this isn't for me, 
this is not for me. It wasn't, it wasn't the life for me, you know what I mean? And then, and then John said, because I was training with John as well at the time, and then John got on Twitch and says, uh, I have a show, I'm doing a show, I'd like to fight on it. And then that was it. I just packed it in, didn't show up. My dad used to come in and punch the head on me and, and like, try and drag me out of bed. And I just wouldn't go, you know what I mean? I had uproar for a good few years when I'm over, but... Um, and that was it, I just pa packed it in, quit, and then focused on training. And that's, I, knew, I, knew, I knew what was going to happen, I knew I was going to get here. They didn't. It was a lot of stressful years, you know what I mean, a lot of tough times. Um, but I proved them wrong, I proved myself right. I'm curious about it, it's never... I mean, it's in my head 24-7. There's nothing else I can think of, I don't, I don't think about nothing else. If, if, and that's it, I'm just curious. Curiously fascinated with it, and I can't stop thinking about it. Everything I do in my life is is related to this. I don't do nothing else if it's not got to do with the fight. You know what I mean? I'm in phenomenal shape, in body and mind. To me, what's unhealthy is living an unhealthy life. To me, what's unhealthy is getting up and going through the same day every day of your life, nine to five in an office or in a. You know that that's unhealthy. That beats your mind. I don't. I don't work. I. What do I? I love what I do, and that's why I'm doing what I love. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why it's become a career for me, because I love it. I love what I do. So, I don't think it's unhealthy. I, I, I feel good in my mind. I mean, it's, it's, my, it's my life. I'm, I'm not different. I don't do nothing any different. I still come to the gym. There's people trying to get me to do this and get me to do that. But I know that in order to be successful at this game, it needs to be 24-7. I need to be living in this gym. And that's, since this new facility, SBG Concord, is on the The setup now is I come here at 1 or 2 o'clock in the day. And no outside distraction, there's no nothing. Um, it's been crazy. The spotlight is on, the Irish public are watching, but it's what we planned, it's what we prepared. I knew I was going to be the person to bring martial arts to the public eye. And now it's happening. You know what I mean? There's two things I've learned from all from these past seven months. Number one is that hard work pays off. And number two is that dreams come true. And that's what's happening.